Doja Bird. I'm full of that brown. I'm full of that white. Yeah, I'm full of that brown. I'm full of that white. Yeah, I'm full of that brown. I'm full of that white. Yeah, I'm full of that brown. I'm full of that white. Season five, and we're back for another episode of I, I Got, got Drink. Drink. Y'all got special guests here today. <laughs> Tell the people who you are. <laughs> Coach Wade. Okay, Coach Wade. Where can we find you on social media? Instagram, Byron Wade. Okay. One seven. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who got a coach you, Coach? Football coach. Okay. Mm-hmm. High school football coach. Yeah, yeah. You want to be mind saying with school too? Um, formerly, <laughs> Bel Air High School. Okay. Um, I just made a transition. Okay. Going to that dirty eye. Okay. Uh, Astroma High? Astroma High School. Woo, child. Ain't they gonna greet you when you come in there? Yeah, it's love over there. It's love? That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you a coach. Yep. So you know, um, you have you heard, you know, Josh Washington, like the Washington brothers? Yeah. They used from- to coach there. Well, Josh used to coach there, but they all played there. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right. See, I don't know nothing about basketball, but I know them as family, so okay. Okay, mm-hmm. small world. Yeah. Okay, okay. Anything else you got going on? Or just, uh, you know, teaching uh, the kids to be the right one, the uh, right right kids? Trying to be a great daddy. Okay, mm. yeah. yeah. It's always positive. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Are you a father to little boys, little girls, both? I got two sons. Two sons? Oh. Yeah. Oh. They active in any sports right now, too? Uh, they just getting started. Okay. Right now, they running track. Um, they both play football. And mm-hmm. um, academics is going to be the most important thing. Yeah, exactly. I, I think that balance of extracurricular mm-hmm. yeah, is uh, very important. Yeah. Nowadays, you can't let your kids go outside like we used to. Hmm. No. No, we get missing. Yeah. And can make it back home. <laughs> right. <laughs> and the neighborhoods don't watch out for the kids how it yeah. was when no. we was growing up. The yeah. neighbors was your aunties, even if you didn't know them. When you moved there, that was your auntie. Right. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, those days are gone, man. Man. Well, you know, let's not dwell in the past. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the future. Mm-hmm. So you know why you're here today, right? Yes, sir. What are you here for? I got drink. I yeah! got drink. <laughs> yeah. So the goal of the show is to, you know, kind of break everybody out that mold of drinking the same old, same old. Mm-hmm. People are always stuck. I'm only drinking hands next year. <laughs> but they got like a billion different kinds of cognac. Why are you just stuck to one kind? You don't even know if it's even good, the best kind they got. <laughs> right, brother. You know? <laughs> so that's why I'm here. That's why we're here. You know, I go find all weird drinks. Because usually the weird drinks be the ones that people missing out on for sure. You right, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would never pick this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you gonna find out about it here, though. Mm-hmm. You know? So, we're gonna start off by asking you, what is your favorite type of drink? Tequila. Oh, you okay. like the tequila. Yep. Any special brand you deal with? 1800. Okay. You look like a Julio. <laughs> <laughs> The little high cheekbone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like a Julio, like from uh, Cuba, the real Cubans. You look yeah. like him. I get that a lot. Really? Oh, I'm on the money then. You might be. <laughs> Maybe. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, guess what? We got no tequila today, so we're going we're gonna to push the limits. Mm-hmm. Okay. All I'm, right. I'm all in. Whatever whatever on the table. So You we, bought it. We're yeah. going to first right. start off with our most controversial drink on the <laughs> table. <laughs> I'm gonna let you choose the black bottle you got here. Okay. Black bottle, pick that bottle. <laughs> and I want you to read the brand for me. Black Nika. <laughs> Say it one more time, please. Black Nika. <laughs> Nika whisk, whiskey. <laughs> so this is a Japanese whiskey. Okay. Um, I'm assuming Nika is the family name. <laughs> But it's Black Nika Supreme. No, Black <laughs> Nika Special. <laughs> Nika Whiskey. <laughs> Not Black Nika Supreme. Yeah. <laughs> so as far as I know, it's 40% alcohol. Where it comes it's from again? It's a Japanese whiskey mm-hmm. from Japan. Mm-hmm. You know, they specialize in making their own type of whiskey. In my opinion, it's more like an Irish whiskey mm-hmm. and not like an American type of whiskey. 
Iron or Irish or Scottish whiskey, some of it. But you know, they own the hints and flavors and stuff. Ooh, thank you. Man, that's so I never had an Irish whiskey. Oh, for real? Mm-mm. Man, we gotta get you on that. Put me on. We're gonna get you on that, too. Mm-hmm. Let's take a smell of it. Smell like that gas. <laughs> <laughs> Who got that back in here? <laughs> <laughs> and we gonna do a cheers. Anything special you wanna do a cheers to? New beginnings at the Dirty Eye at the Struma. Come on, welcome, yeah. Coach Wade. Shout out. Um, I'm, we're gonna we're gonna salute more life. More, more life. life. Mm. More. Right more here. More life. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. What you thinking? <laughs> Where this come from? Japan, bro. I had to order this shit, man. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like rubbing alcohol. <laughs> and how would I know? It tastes like rubbing alcohol smell. It, yeah, it's oh, like man. what you would yeah. imagine, I swear. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I never thought about it, but you're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> how the rubbing alcohol smell? Damn. That's how they taste. That is that flavor, bro. Mm -hmm. I would never try to taste rubbing alcohol. <laughs> you see, I would never try to. <laughs> <laughs> you got any uh, any drunk stories for us? I know people always got the drunk stories. Uh -oh. Some that are, uh, you know, PG-13 ish. <laughs> you don't 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 want to incarcerate nobody. Cause your students gonna find you too. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> leave them edibles alone. That's, that's okay. okay. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Why we do that? Like this not even about that. Uh -uh. Don't do that to the don't do that to the Eddies. All right. Yeah. Why? <laughs> It's called a knee breed still. But I get because yeah. of sports. That's what you're saying. I'm saying because you don't know how much of whatever is in each. That's why you're just supposed to take a pinch. Yeah. But if you, if you got a whole cookie, though, why not eat the whole cookie? Because you, you eat it other, see, other that's, that's you don't mess with no edibles. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mess, don't mess with them. <laughs> don't I'm, leave it alone. I'm, I'm trying to think of a, a, a drunk store. Um, I drink, so mm -hmm. you, you don't really got no before. real drunk stories. Like. Yeah. Um, in my younger days, yeah. I don't really have a, a story. Um, when I went to Jamaica, mm. okay, okay, in Jamaica, <laughs> I had an interesting experience. I the first night, uh, I was in the jacuzzi, <laughs> and you know, like, you you never pay attention, but they got that little caption that they got wrote on the side oh, saying, yeah. "Don't spend more than so thirty many, minutes." Yeah. yeah, so much time in the jacuzzi. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> You know, I, w I was drinking, I ain't got nothing to do. And um, when I got out the jacuzzi, I sat on the, like the beach chair that you, you lay back on. <laughs> yeah. And um, I wasted the whole first day of, of my trip. Oh, you were hurt? I, no, I passed out. <laughs> <laughs> and, the heat and the alcohol. Right, and right. was, was sleep from, I'm gonna say 10 p.m. to Four, four in the morning. God yeah, yeah. damn. So, that, that was not a fun experience. Damn. I mean, it was some good sleep, but. You woke up, you was like, why am I still here? Yeah, like. <laughs> horrible. He said, uh uh, not that. That ain't it. That's crazy. Someone found you, or? Uh... Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, a, that's the point. I put my wallet, um, you know, room key, yeah. phone under the, mm -hmm. the little beach chair, yeah. and. Had somebody not came and woke me up. Anything. Mm. Well, I still would have been there. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, all inclusive. We done paid for the resort. Yeah. You know, I didn't waste it the whole first night. Right. Wow. You know? Was everybody looking for you? Yeah. They, they so I was, I was found. <laughs> right. I'm saying, imagine searching for somebody. You calling their phone while I'm not answering the phone. The phone under. Yeah. Need the chair. So. Damn. I got bumped into and woke up and it just... You know, everything happened for a reason, though. <laughs> That's how you gotta look at it. Everything happened for a reason. In America. Oh, yeah. America. Man, you, know what, you know what the best part about all these stories, though, man? You survived. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you survived to tell the story so somebody else won't do it. Most so the jacuzzi is what took you out. 
Mm. Yeah, the cop and the, and the liquor and, and the, liquor. The, and the, and the, the pinch. pinch. The, yeah. the pinch. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. the pinch of the animal. <laughs> the pinch. Oh, you, oh, and it was out there. Yeah. Oh, it's over. They got like right. lamb's bread. So, they strained so totally. Never, never. Ever Wait, again. it was from out there. I don't know. And oh, that, don't play with them out there. Ain't gonna hold you. They got the most potent everything. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, that's what's up, though. Damn, that's uh-uh. funny. But the rest of the trip was good though, right? Oh yeah, most definitely. Okay, most okay. Definitely. And you were more careful after that. Yeah, Every day of my life since. since, <laughs> since that was a turning point. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lessons we learned. You know, any uh, tips and tricks you want to give to our viewers that are, let's say, they're just starting to drink? Um, what to do and what not to do? Uh, advice for drinking would be. You know, make sure you're around somebody that loves you unconditionally. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Somebody not going to take advantage of you. Mm-hmm. Always have a designated driver. And understand that you got to be in a situation where you live to tell the story. Come on, yeah. Coach Wade. Because a lot of times, <laughs> think about the people that things turn fatal, things are, are catastrophically life-changing. Yeah. They don't get to tell the story. So. Yeah. You know, like he just said a few minutes ago, the beauty <laughs> in it is survival, right. but you don't want to be in a situation where you always <laughs> thanking God for his grace to be able to survive a situation. So just just drink responsibly, like, yeah. like the caption. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody read the motherfucking caption. Yeah. <laughs> they do not they, they read that re- That's proof right. that they are there for a reason. Even like, look, you know, all the medicine, they come up and they give you all of the good things and they get the side effects and the softest voice. Nobody be listening to that shit. It may right. cause cancer, may cause See, suicidal thoughts. Aches, Nobody think about that. Medicine, right? Think about, uh, think about cigarettes, though. It's a surgeon's point. <laughs> yeah. Not doctor, not advice. It's a surgeon. Surgeon. <laughs> Somebody got to cut you open. It's giving you a warning. You keep smoking this tobacco, nicotine, and everything we done packed into this. Oh, yeah. do you some harm. Oh, yeah. I need yeah, to hear that. Yeah, we warning labels, y'all, because a lot of people don't do that. Hey, there's a, look, this thing right now has a warning label. Go warning. <laughs> According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcohol beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Mm-hmm. Consumption of alcohol beverages impairs your ability to drive a car, operate machinery, and may cause health problems. Hmm. And if it's on the label and you buy it and you drink it, that's your lick the tape. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever come with that, that's your lick the tape. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stand on on business. That's Y'all it. Be you make be, be intentional. If you know it can come with it, you gonna drink and be responsible. Yep. 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 That's so funny. <laughs> no, I'm not, it's funny because I like drinking now. I just started drinking last year. I'm 34. I just started drinking for real, and I enjoy it, but I don't really get drunk. But I enjoy it. It's a different vibe. It's like a whole different space that I've another world that I've never explored. Sure, I've started and stopped a lot. Really? Yeah, you know, you get too fucked up one day, like, yeah, I ain't never drinking again. Well, so, <laughs> you just started drinking. That's like drinking, I'd sip, but not like, I wouldn't go out and drink. I wouldn't do, I didn't drink. You drank wine? Like, every now and then. I wasn't a drink, I smoked. Okay. So I wasn't a drinker. Understandable. Now, I can drink, but I like just the vibe of it. It's dope. So, y- y- y'all ever heard wine drunk? Mm-hmm. That's a different type of drunk, man. It's almost like she high. <laughs> but you, think about that. When somebody say that, like, that individual has a problem because <laughs> to say that you, you wine drunk, <laughs> you like, yeah, like what? You did. It don't it's like, almost like you trying to find out how much wine can I drink yeah. to get to a certain point, yeah. and it's like wine make you sleepy. Mm-hmm. I mean, it makes me sleepy. Or so. it make like women, red wine, like a bit of red wine, it like put us in a sensual mood. Like it turn us like. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna say it's me. That red wine, one glass, I'm good. Like, yeah. I'm good, but I like to drink wine at home. Okay. Because it just put me in a different... You right, though, man. Mm-hmm. The wine be like like 14% alcohol, so you really got fucked up on purpose. Right, you, you had to choose that, like... <laughs> How many of these bottles did you really drink? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're just supposed to relax Yeah, like, look calm, <laughs> little, you know. Little Steve's. Supposed to help you with your meal, digestion and shit. You, yeah, you know, know red wine good for iron. Yeah. I'm anemic, so I like red wine and liver. <laughs> Cause I'm country, but red wine and liver, them two together. Wow. Good for I hate liver. Really? Yeah. Fried liver, smothered liver. I got a bad experience. <laughs> when I was growing up, my mom used to cook liver, <laughs> and she would tell me a steak. 
And no. you know, it got that soft <laughs> texture. It's oh. like, this is the same old. This oh. night, like, I don't like steak. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and then she would tell me after the fact, and it's like, but well, this is all we got, so this is what you gonna eat. Well, oh. I just want the rice and gravy. I don't. Oh, this is messed up because it's two totally different. The, the texture true, meshy, man, mushy in your mouth with liver. Yeah, I hate it. Oh, that's yeah, so funny. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> your mama said just steak. <laughs> I don't even know who made people, made people start eating liver, man. What? Hold up. Not too much. Not too much. I like liver. Ugh, you on your own. All right, but not too much. <laughs> <laughs> I love liver. I like gizzards. All right, it's time for our next drink of the day. Mmm. What we gonna do next? Oh, we. I don't know what you got. Okay. I Let's have the it. select club pecan praline. Listen. Okay. We about to bust it down, okay? Like ice cream flavor. Mm-hmm. Like the butter pecan, like yeah. your momo head. Oh, you no. Know? The that only ice cream we could have for real, yeah. right? See, hit you up on your. You might be a history teacher for real. Oh no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you just know your history. Well, I'm a jack of all. Mm. Wow, trade. Do you know the whole quote for that? When they say the jack of all trades. Jack of all trades, master of none, something, something, something. Do you know the whole shit? Look, I'm asking No, I don't. I don't. You know what they say? A jack of all trades is a master of none, but often better than a master of one. They always cut the end out often better because they want you to put, put you in one box, one niche. But the end of that whole quote is often better than a master of one. It's like the national anthem. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Nope. Look, I don't even. Another story right there. I, ain't, I don't even say that. Yeah, My gonna... babies, when I say that, I tell them we sing Amazing Grace. We not doing no damn Star Spangled Banner. Thanks. I just told yeah. you Amazing Grace. You said the, 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 the black. That is the same one. The lyrics. Lift, if you lift every voice and sing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go through the words. <laughs> I don't know the, I exactly. I don't know the lyrics. I know the I, I lyrics. Did, Lift every with the, but Amazing else. Grace is a part of that. That's what I'm saying. Are you saying Amazing Grace? Yeah, that's okay. a part of Lift Every Voice. Y'all yeah, see, I don't even know the word. Y'all don't know it. Oh, I'm a bush out there. Y'all lip sync. I know it when they give it to us at church. At church? Church. Oh, Lord. Yeah. You know they say what two or more are gathered. You know the presence is there. Thank you. Never. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Oof. Again, it's the this I like this one, the pecan. Okay. Praline. Pecan. You know it's praline. brown like me. Is it praline or praline? Praline. Okay. Like, like pecan, pecan, not pecan. Said all kind of weird <laughs> Pecan. Pecan. Who wanna talk about pea? Pecan. It's pecan. 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 Them people from the Carolinas and the Virginias. They be like pecan. Yo, man, I rolled the call to people that kept saying pecan. I was <laughs> crying, laughing. I was like, oh my god, I can't, I can't be this car too long. Nah, <laughs> gotta um, get out. I know we. It's like a culture barrier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna do a cheers to now. Uh, optimism. Oh. You know, knowing Great. knowing things could always be worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't be focused on what we don't have. Be, yeah. be thankful for what we do. Look, I'm a Sagittarius. That's us. Right. <laughs> I like that one. If you don't like it, look at your yeah, that's, like, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah, but it's like pecan. Oh, you feel it like taste. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it make you do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of sweet. Good, though. Make your mouth water afterwards. I like pecans. What would you rate that one? I give it an eight, eight point mm -hmm. five. Okay. So you would drink that one, like at home? I would sip it. You, yeah, uh, it's one of those. Cut that with nothing. You just. Oh yeah. Yeah, you just what about feel that it. Slow roll. Mm -hmm. Would you get that Nika? <laughs> you. That's for for a specific occasion. <laughs> for win, a championship win or when uh, when the world coming to the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Don't fuck with that out. unless you're yeah. about to die. The, the day after tomorrow, when the, the world was freezing and moving, just come on, let's pull this out. Yeah, that's when you get that. Mm -mm, yeah. We don't want that's that one. Funny. I feel it. So, ooh, how do you balance like going out or having fun and drinking with coaching? Because I know I play volleyball, I play softball, mm -hmm. and that was something you know they were 
don't drink, don't do this because of your stamina. How do you balance that as a coach with, you know, just your adult life as well? I think just prioritizing and your value system. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't say what's important to you if you don't have a brainstorm on it. So, yeah. um, me being a coach, I have to figure out what's most important to me. Um, my performance at work, um, my reputation, my energy, mm -hmm. um, my relatability. I can't be walking in Walmart's stomach. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. I, I have to be very particular about when I choose to partake in adult activity. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Because it's one thing for you in the daytime to tell a parent, to tell a student, uh, a, a young man, a woman, something, and then they see you under the influence and all that go out the window. Right. Yeah. You know, so, um, you know, I, I go into the bad cave. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and and I enjoy myself, but um, you know, I'm, I'm very aware of when I choose to uh, do what I do. But that's why I travel a lot. Mm. You know? Right. Yeah. Um, I look forward to being able to take trips. Um, that allows me to, you know, really. Lose a little bit. Yeah, come out my shell. Yeah, and that's something I can say. I'm not like big on sports, but I watched um, Coach Prime from Jackson State to Colorado. Mm -hmm. And I watched how he talked to those boys and he gave them a reason, he gave them motivation, but he's speaking, you can tell like he's instilling faith in them. Yeah. They moral compass, it's not just coaching a football game. And I don't know shit about football. Like I literally just learned the difference between a block and a tackle last year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I watched them because he, the way that they relate to him is like not, okay, I'm not your daddy, but it's a father figure, but it's also a different sense of respect. And the things what I've learned with coaching is, Y'all more than it's not. It's not just sports. It's you're a mentor. You're a right. role model. But they looking at your moral value because a lot of these kids don't go home to love. They don't go home to the same structure that you instill in them. And then they come back and you mean that much to them because they don't go home to that. How do you feel about that? Like, does that keep you on that that line, or does that inspire you? Like, here, you know what? I gotta go hard and I'm gonna keep it real. But I'm gonna, you know, do my thing how I do it. But I'm gonna still move with integrity with them and be honest with them. Uh, understanding that I'm an extended father figure. Mm -hmm. you know, so, uh, a lot of who I am and what people see, even though it's on the surface, um, that's the model for what they may be lacking. Like, right. Right. Uh, a lot of young men or young women may not have a dad or a father or can look at a bad example. They may have their uncle that's mm -hmm. that mama boyfriend that's mm. not the, the right example. So, that stimulates me to want to be just the best I could be because you never know who paying attention and at 39 I'm 39 years old what I recently learned is you really never know who watching you and paying attention to you That's right true. and because I'm aware of that now that motivates me to always be the best version of myself no matter where I am that's amazing I can say like my daughter's cheering and gymnastics it's certain times like I have daughters mm -hmm. I'm talking to them and it's like, here, I can give you structure, but I call a coach real quick. I'm calling the coaches, look, this is what's going on, this is what's happening. So when they go, because, and I'm really in tune with their coaches, like I love them because they're gonna uphold the same structure that I have, but if I'm lacking, they're gonna, hey, this is what they on. And I love it because it keeps us in balance, but I know that my children, when they're not around me, they're in the extra correct curricular activities. I know their coaches to where it's like, nah, you're not about to get away with this, right. but also, if you're not comfortable with me, my daughter's comfortable with their coaches. Yeah. And they talk to them whenever they're not, you know, and it's they're older. And I respect it and I love the coaches for it because they still uphold their privacy unless it's out of bounds. But the coaches are that extended family. And for me, like as a mother, I'm not, some women feel insecure with it. Me, I'm like, no, my babies need all the love they can right. get if they're in your care. We a village. I trust you because you're coaching my children. Yep. So I look at that in the same capacity. It's dope that you look at that and you know yourself and you also have to move with intentions, but you know where to be in line, but you know your energy matters to these babies in a different way that they ain't never seen it as that coach. Yeah. That's um, something deep for these babies. To elaborate on that, I, I, I feel like you got to look at where you spend the most of your time. Mm -hmm. Majority of us working people, you spend the majority of your time at work. Mm -hmm. What do your kids spend the majority of their time? School. At school. So, yeah. you know, I've had parent-teacher conferences, mm -hmm. whereas I may not have walked in 
with a good mindset about something that transpired, but I had to understand, well, let me scale back because this person know, might know my child better than me. Right. Um, right. Um, wow. And, and you really got to open your mind and understand that one day them training wheels got to come off. Right. You know, yep. um, for everybody. So, um, you having girls, you have to be really careful. You have mm -hmm. to be really aware. But as a woman, you know what you went through from teenage to adolescent stage, um, even to womanhood. Right. And know? still going because that's something we like to... Oh, I'm a grown, and don't get me wrong, I'm grown, but we are still growing. Yeah. Like, if you feel like you final, you've met, met your destination, you might as well die because anything that's not growing is dead. Right. Yep. So as long as we are breathing, we're growing. And me as a mother, I take that highly into consideration. I've also been a teacher, mm -hmm. an educator, and I loved it. I love the kids. Yep. I ain't everybody like, I ain't like the mamas. I ain't like all the teachers, but other teachers. But those kids, I never had a problem with a child, like never. And I had middle school girls and boys. And it was my babies, like my babies, and I taught math and social studies. That's beautiful. Yeah, it is, yep. <laughs> yeah. And then you know now, they be like, these kids, babes, I ain't never had no problem with a child disrespecting me, ever. Okay. Yeah, guess what? We got one more drink. Mm. And we're going to go to something new today. So, tradition is, known with a new bottle. Oh. Gotta tap that ass. Tap that ass. <laughs> so, we got some, uh, it's called Metaxa. This is a, a Grecian brandy. Why Grecian you ain't never gonna get no African yeah. shit? Or no Louisiana? Well, you did my bad. I apologize. I'm wrong. All right. Before I finish. No Louisiana stuff? I was I was wrong because it's Donaldsonville. Yeah, it's local. That's why I say you right, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I had to catch myself and correct it. You right. Let's see, no, you I don't can't. know what to expect with this, man. Like, we've been trying different types of brandy and stuff. That's a brandy? This is a brandy. Ain't you supposed to sip brandy? You know I'm new to this. Like, aren't you like all of all the browns? You supposed to sip? You know, you probably used to E and J. E and J. Irk and Jerk. I ain't never had that. <laughs> and Palma. See, I've seen them, but because of how old, I was like, no, that's yeah. like wino stuff. So I never tried E and J. Okay. So this is Palma. Yeah. Palma. Palma. Palma.
Fuqua. You know what I've been saying all Fuqua. Yeah, my mama, Fuqua. <laughs> all my life, it's been Fuqua. And I know people from over there, and I just still say Fuqua. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny, man. We greatly appreciate you coming to our show today. Mm -hmm. Trying these new beverages. You know, we hope we enlighten you and show you that there are other stuff that you can drink, right? Right. I, it's very thought provoking. Yeah. And I can tell you, I'm grateful as a mother, but then also just a community based person. We need more people who give it in. Yeah. So yeah. I'm grateful we for that coaching do. and education, but it's more, I can see you care. You actually, you're not doing it for the money. You yeah. actually care. Yeah. It ain't enough money to do it for the money. Like it don't, you know. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's that special, being enough, that place. means something to us as right. parents, but also just knowing I as an educator, but that having that person who cares like that, especially, I went to the the middle before mm -hmm. it was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We need that. Right. So I'm grateful, so thank you for that. That's yeah. that's a blessing to our community. We need to give y'all more shout outs, especially yeah. our black community. You need to get y'all more pay. Facts. Yeah, most, most definitely, I, I think. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> we all got to realize one day we going to die. Right. Yeah. And, and what is your legacy hmm. going to say? You yeah. know, when, when God give you an opportunity to put your fingerprints on people, mm -hmm. you yeah. know what I'm saying? And what's the lasting impact? Yeah. It's dope that you said that because I always say like your fingerprints are imprints and that that energy is that imprint is an energetic something that lasts forever. When you gone, your flesh not here, how people gonna feel when they hear your name? Yep. That's your legacy for yeah. real. Right. You ain't lying, bro. Yeah. That, yeah, that's a good, good look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. It, you got you got you, you yeah. gotta go into it with, with that with that type of mindset. Um yeah. because what you like most people are opportunists. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as long as you benefiting them, you presenting something that's beneficial, you know, it's good. But once you no longer beneficial for them, most people don't. They just, they move on. Right. It, it don't matter anymore. So somebody that's passionate like myself, you know, to not get offended, I gotta understand that, you know, I did. I answered my call. You know, that's, that's love. Yeah. No, I saw that coaching yeah. is my ministry. Yeah. I was going to wait a little second, but I was like, that's hard because that's, everybody don't know their ministry. So to know that that's it, and when coaching, when you're coaching any sports, that's also a life coach. That's also a mentor. It's deeper than just the sport, that game. Yeah. It's the game of life. So that's hard. I rock with it. That's dope, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, yeah. thank you for I, coming. I appreciate, I appreciate all, all the bodies you're going to, all, all, all the minds you're going to mold along the way. Yeah, yeah. now yeah. I want to come watch the games. Like, I started watching Shador and them because of Coach Prime. Right. So I'm going to come watch, like, a streamer. I don't know what's going on, and I might be a little extra. But don't mind me. Just know I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. That, that Astroma community definitely needs it. 70805, mm -hmm. I think that's the most dangerous mm -hmm. um, area in in Baton Rouge. I mean, all of them. It's a close race. Um, yeah. But they need some positivity. You mm -hmm. know, I'm trying to get the boys to understand we, we got to be the shining stars in the midst of all the turmoil. You know, mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, That's hard. That's dope. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to, it's on my heart to, to, to leave some lasting um, words. And I just want everybody to know um, when I say things could always be worse, you got to really reflect on that. You know, mm -hmm. uh, most times we're looking at our next check, mm -hmm. our next lick, but sometimes you got to stop and really look left and look right and understand, uh, you know, you could have cancer. You could yeah. be, <clears throat> be in a situation where, you know, house burned down. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you not caught get repossessed, but you know, your water pump go out. You know, you could be in jail for 30, 40 years. Yeah. Because they got some people in jail that are innocent. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and they telling that story to they sell it, and nobody believes. You know. Um, but you, when you don't take stuff for granted, you got to make it mean something. So right. I guess my message is, make everything you have mean something. Um, make it count. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right on the head. Mm. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. you know, that wisdom is long. Already. Hello. It'll last forever, you know what I'm saying? We'll always be here. I think he's my favorite. <laughs> you ain't the liquor. Again, we appreciate <laughs> you, man, y'all. Check okay. out, make sure y'all follow me on I-G-O-T-T-R-A-K-Z. What'll follow you again? Byron Wade, 17. Sister Supreme, S-I-S-T-A-H, Supreme Erwer. 
Yo, make sure y'all follow the antidote, follow I Got Drink TV, and that's it for another episode of I, I Got, Got Drink. Drink.